Hi everyone, Siege back here in another Monster Train Penumbra video. Today we are going into our 8th run of the Penumbra series. We are 3 wins away from closing out Penumbra. And before we jump right into it, I'd like to talk about the last run that I'd have with Penumbra. That was with Exile Awoken. And surprisingly, um, even with prior knowledge, I still managed to take the wins. But the weird thing about this is that they were all close to each other. So the first win was with an Awoken Trail Spike. Uh, the Animus of Will more so made was the main unit. And in this run, I ended up going in on over perils and it was struggling for a bit here and there i was taking a lot of damage towards the mid game because i did not have a way to clear the backline units i rerun the seed and i did it on a different note i instead hold over the bone rattler and I ended up with the same number of points, around 50,675. Um, I put the upgrades on the different units. And similarly, a third variation and ended up being around the same thing. So I don't know what this tells me. I guess it says that we did decent in the run. I mean... With prior knowledge, we should have gotten a higher score, but I guess we took the optimal paths uh, based on how we were playing during the initial run, and I'd say we're consistent. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's something for us to ponder about. Now, today it's going to be a different run. Today it's going to be Umbra Default with Stygian Exile. So the only difference here, instead of getting Frozen Lances, we get Forgun Power. Forgun Powers are very powerful in their own right. Um, having 6 Frostbite into an enemy unit for free is very powerful because that cascades down to a lot of extra damage. Um, exactly how much? 6 plus 5, 11 plus 4, 15? Plus 6, 21. One Frostbite is around 21 damage spread out into 6 turns. So you would really know how much power this spell provides if you can connect it early game to a mini boss. So maybe we can lean in on that for today's run. So again, without further ado, leave a like or a dislike if you enjoy this content. And let's get on in. With Penumbra, let's secure the 18th win of this series. So let's jump right into Penumbra. Okay, so good starting hand against Diligent. Immortal Trade is zero cost, which means we can play it in case we see it. Titan's Gratitude is here. It's in conflict with Forgan Power, so we don't like that. But we do have Ember Cash, one of the best solutions for Diligent Seraph in terms of increasing the amount of cards you can burn. Um, it itself is a consume card and it creates three um, extra spells called Excavated Embers that are also zero cost and consumes. So, kind of want to play this the first time you see it and hopefully become the burn you need for each turn for Diligent. Today, Diligent is also accompanied by Days Talos and Days Arcus. So, a lot of Days coming in here. Let's try to evaluate how we are going to be navigating this run moving forward. Temples are at ring 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. So, no temple on ring 4. Uh, that is fine with me. I always like a temple on ring 5 to give me options here. So, we do have one on ring 2 that we can use in case there are good upgrades there. 
Ring 8, Magic, Dupe, Steel Shop, Vortex, Spread Out. Very good Magic Shop Ring 7 with Dupes and Vortex. Steel Shop is bad. You have a decent Trinket Shop on Ring 6 with Money. Magic Shop on that ring is very good. Caverns and Horde. Ring 5, uh, both equally good shops. Steel Shop, Vortex, Magic Shop, Caves. You could say the Magic Shop is a little better a little better because of the Burgotten Boons. So there's that. Decent options towards the late game. Good spread. Ring 4, Money, Horde, Stygian Banner. If we need it, we might go to it. Magic Shop is also decent here on Ring 4 with some health and vortex. Another dupe is on Ring 6. Sorry, Ring 3. That's the third in the run. Umbra Banner together with it. Opposite opposite the steel shop with some pyromains. You have a steel umbra force on ring 2 versus Stygian banner and magic shop. Is there a card I can get value out of the magic shop there? Not really at this point. You just have to look at the horde or the rewards on the first combat. Good options here. We could play the shard counts 10, 20 for ring 4, 35 here, maybe pick up a 10 somewhere here. So we do have options of getting value with all of the middle nodes in rings 1 to 4, but just have to wait and see. Hell's Banners is a very good artifact. Generates embers. If you're playing Umbra, then it's almost guaranteed that you can play this. Commemorative Spirit. Spike is a very bad artifact. I don't even want to talk about it. It eats up space. It doesn't take away the Ember Drain on top floor. It would be good if it does that. However, it does not. Let's take Hell's Banners here and make playing units easier. I think this is another Architect play. Architect is very flexible in its construction. It allows you to build a very large floor and prevents you from getting into space problems. Monstrous, as good as it is, we can keep it alive with a mortal trade, but I still like the functionality of having uh, an extra space relic champion eventually on the late game. Could do a lot with the space. Similar to one of our episodes where we had, I think, with default Hellhorn as the support clan, a Horned Warrior with a siege, Shadow Siege Infusion and two of them. So, you really like the space here. I will grab the money and take my first ring combat here today. Unit Draft. I do want myself a Unit Draft. And this setup here is very low damage. We can get value out of Frozen Forgun Powers here. So, let's take this. You want the options. Maybe this allows us to go into the steel shop with the Stygian unit. Okay. Let's drop a Titan's Gratitude bottom floor. Maybe we get Collector today. Yes, we do. I'll crack the Ember Cache. I will... Hmm... Train Steward twice, middle floor, and then Fork and Power. I think we can get the kill on top floor with that. Yes, certainly. I will play into a second unit on top floor. I think that's good value. Um, I might take damage here. I might take a 5. Um, 37... Depends on what we hit here. I do see an excavator more so. End of turn. I can't get that unit. I will save 7 here though. I think that's good to save. And let's forgun power the boss. I think this is a sure victory now. We do take 5 from that but... I think there's no getting away from that. Mm -hmm. 
I play Immortal Trade and then Forgun Power. And we should win this, no problem. Get rid of the curse. You shade splitter in. Chomp block with that morsel. And then put additional Forgun Power. And we good. Okay, good. Ring 1 combat. Um, We are given a ping here and Tumber Assault. Maybe I should take it. Um, do I, do we see ourselves going into Umbra here? Maybe I should pick up a pack morsels just to lean in a bit on the morsel generation in case we are forced into it. I am not very happy with an Antumbra assault here. I'll take pack morsels and the reason for that is we are given a flash freeze here. That's a better ping. Take it. Okay, a shark. I do love myself a shark. It's a good unit. I think I snapped that in. Yes, yes. Okay, that gives me a little more comfort going into the steel shop. However, can I build an incant line here? Possibly, for gun powers or zero cost, there's a way to play this out. However, the magic shop is still not that good for us. We are only gonna get minus ones are not even valuable. 10 plus 10 could go into flash freeze. Hmm... Remove consume. I don't think I'm investing too hard in a pack more so. Hold over is also dead. Oh, it's only the stitch and banner that's there. Could be a shark though. Maybe a siren encounter. Now that we go steal a shop here. Look for possibly endless. I guess. Yes. We do need a secondary unit. So... Maybe Stygian Banner here. Hmm, Magic Shop. Upgrade Flash Freeze, maybe minus once on Shade Splitters. 20 Consume on Titan's Gratitude. I mean, decent enough, I believe. Could Freeze, maybe an Immortal Trade. The problem with going into the Umbra Banner is... It's alloyed construct here. And the problem with that is we are going to have to solve the morsel problem, which is not that easy to solve. So I think I'll go over on the le right side here. What do we have? Permafrost, as mentioned. I could freeze an immortal trade for relentless. That's something I can do. Temple in the middle, you have a very good super spell I could create if I really want to. It's something. Mm, let's check the Stygian banner here. What do we have? Sweepers. I mean, I guess so. I guess I pick one. Cold Kalia. Yeah, Cold Kalia. No way to scale her yet. Probably more cells. Um, do I pick up that super spell? Like plus 30 and plus 10 on a Titan's Gratitude. Set that up for the next 5. Hmm, I think that's too much of card counts for a not so reliable card. Hmm, probably visiting the steel shop. I do want myself a self infused unit, maybe self infused shark. 
Then I visit the Stygian shop again. Maybe look for something there. I think I take the 10 in power and flash freeze. A minus 1 into Titan's Gratitude. Play that last, I think. I will spin. Remove consume. A pack morsels. Mm. I think I consume the other one here. Um, the other minus one, I guess, make Ember Cash free. Not taking the remove consume. I will take the Tenon Piercing though on Flash Freeze. That's a good card. Maybe I see an X5 on that. I'll take that. Okay, we move on. I'm not sure if we made a good decision on that magic shop, though. Okay, this combat is doable. If we can connect the flash freeze on this boss, he's basically dead. Hoping for some good stuff, though, here. Um, let's shark. Penumbra top floor. Four gun power, four gun power. Okay. I can connect into a Titan's Gratitude bottom, but just before I play Cold Kalia. Titan's Gratitude here. Get that guy killed. Okay. The upgrades we bought are paying off. Kill this guy. Let's feed Penumbra. Okay, good. Um, feed more cells. Do this. More cell here. Crack the other one. Let's life steal up. And then let's try to connect double forgan power on the boss. Good. Okay, um, more Shade Splitter action, top floor. Train Steward, I guess I play 4 gun power again. Okay, I think we get out of this. No thanks to Cold Galia. Yeah? Okay. 4 gun power showing, its, showing off its fangs in the early game. Perils. Perils is here. Prismal Dust is also here. I think I lean in on Perils here as my possible scaling option for that cold kale, yeah? Um, I think I'm happy enough with one ping. Do I need a second one? Uh, Frostbite. No, let's skip. Okay, now where do we go from here? I do want myself an infusion on Cold Kalia. And I could also get a self-infused shark. Here for certain. I think that's powerful. That's sure value. The steel shop here if it becomes large stone... Well, large stone is take a ball and shark. Endless, yes. All of the upgrades here are takeable actually. And I could reasonably re-roll it. Sure. Okay, we do get a multi-strike on cold kill. Yeah, let's take that. I will put I have money in the middle. Okay, do I spin this? Or do I grab the plus 25? I think I spin first. Okay, good job. We get an endless. Whew, good thing we rerolled first. That would have been sad to see if we skip that. Let's take the horde here. Draw relic. Mass of Penumbra. Boon of the Blacksmith. Titan's Claws is not good. Um, I think I'll draw, get the extra draw power here on Mask of Penumbra. That's good. 
caverns today give us space. Frozen nostalgia would have been good with blinks, but we don't have blinks. So I guess it's the hammer. Okay, so we have ember, we have space, we just need card draw. But we actually have everything. Ember, space, and card draw. That's weird setup of relics there. Let's move on. We have endless shark. That's good. Okay. Shark should carry this early game for us then. I think this time around, I'll put Cold Kalia in front to get more cells eaten. And then I get to connect a Forgan power to Talos, which should be, again, a substantial amount of damage. Let's play Shark Middle. Do want to clear that floor out. I'll try to connect double Forgan power in Talos, and I think he's she is basically dead. That's too much frostbite to handle at this point of the game. Crack the morsels. Ooh, good. I like the damage. And the 1 HP, 1 morsel. Give shark some HP as well. Maybe I get to do something with here. Can't. Titan's Gratitude Middle. Okay, good. We cleared that for sure. Get to eat another morsel. Amazing. Okay. Um, this floor is going up. And it's annoying. How do I deal with that? I guess I play Shark on top floor. Keep him dead then. Double Train Steward below. We for gunpower bottom remove at least one of them. So we go top floor with five units. I can play shark there. Two, four, seven, seventeen, twenty two, thirty. Okay. Do I kill Shark here? I think I do. I blast. Okay. Oh no! That back unit is alive. Okay, take five. Being a slight dum dum there, but I wanted to play Shark bottom. Was the reason I did that. Okay, and Tumbra. More so. I'm fine with the trade. Okay, and we clear top floor. Good. We play shark again middle with a OP flash freeze. Maybe I did not have to take that gamble on that floor. Okay, good. We're out. Amazing. What do we get here? Wretch. Horfrost Effigy. Is it, is it time for Horfrost Effigy? No. I don't think I'm relying on that card. How about Blazing Bolts? No. Don't like these cards. Okay. I mean, we have something. Crucible Warden is here. Good pick up Guard of the Unnamed for a defensive infusion. Incant as well. Is this really an incant line though? I don't feel it this. Whew. Uh, where are my steel shops for upgrades? One here. Magic shop coming up. I guess it's gonna be like a frostbite build. Somehow. Hmm. I guess the best unit here is Crucible Warden. It's offensive and defensive in a way. 
How do I keep the defense running though? Immortal trade. Okay, I'm fine with this pick. It allows us to play top floor and survive for five turns. Basically, maybe we find quick. I have space. I have Ember in a way. Let's take card draw. More card draw. Okay. Um, I could go to the magic shop and hunt for hold over perils. Or I could go to the Stygian banner and look for what's what's the boss today? It's diligent. So no patient problems. We go Umbra. No, we go Stygian. Units uncommon. It's really just Shark and maybe Nameless Siren in Kant. Not very good options. Hmm. Should look for a dupe for shark. Here. And here. How will I scale my unit? It's two out of six on that side. I think I'd rather lean in on perils here. Peril scaling with Immortal Trade and Shark. I guess I visit the magic shop here again. Hmm. No infusion yet. Magic shop. I have money in the middle, so the 100 gold we currently have is fine. Perils is scaling. That's something we already have that we could invest in. Mm. Yes. Remove chain stewards. Horde could be Cuttlebeard. Money is basically wasted here, so it's really these two. If I miss, it's bad. With the magic shop, at least I can get minus ones into shade splitters and basically just YOLO into perils. I have a lot of temples coming up, four temples are on the horizon. Which means I can get spell chains, double stacks, plus 30s. Maybe I can lean in on the Titan's Gratitude. We do have multi-strike and endless already. So we're not hard pressed and going into the st steel shops. Let's go magic shop here. I get to cut cards as well, which is good. Remove train stewards. They do have a holdover. That's, I mean, that's scaling. Scaling and survivability. I like it. Okay, good. Good decisions to go to visit this side. I can take a minus one on a shade splitter. Plus 10 on this Titan's Gratitude. And I think that's basically it. Forge says... Trample on Penumbra. I just want space. Feed more morsels, I guess. Maybe I can play middle floor? Yeah, that's something to consider. Um, This is... Free? Not entirely free, but I do want the money. And it's 45 shards. We are below the threshold here okay guess we play middle floor here to secure collector in case i can do this ember cash drops immortal trade shark organ power okay we do get collector we have turn two perils that's good Immortal Trade Spam. 
I guess I tank with the warden here for now. Yes, I think I will tank with for the warden. With the warden, I mean. Let's Titan's Gratitude for Gunpower bottom floor. We get the collector. Good. Lots of money coming in for us. Mm, can't really get that kill, right? Because of the damage shield. So we whiff on that. Do want more morsels here. Ooh, I like that flash freeze though. Hmm. It pops the damage shield. Which... Uh, no, it's piercing. So it does not. I guess I take 13 here. Yeah, I guess I take 13 probably. One hit. That's fine. You have enough HPS buffer here. Let's scale on top floor with morsels. I think I play shark mid bottom floor now. With morsels, maybe. Let's for gun power middle. You might not kill that 105 right there. Let's scale here. Let's flash freeze titan sentry. Organ power middle. Okay, shark is doing well. Um, I think I open up the morsels here. Um, feed magma, rubble. Thought binder here. Uh, I think a Titan's Gratitude here saved the damage shield. Okay, we get rid of her assistance in the back. I get to remove all of these. Don't get to play Shark, but I play Forgan Power here. And I think we should win top floor with this amount of damage shield. Let's play more cells. More lifesteal. Forgan Powers. Okay, we're good. We have some sort of scaling right now, but we need more of it. Prism Retrieval can fetch me my shark. If I draw it turn one and make it free. Sacrifice is more morsels. Engine upgrade we don't need. Let's take Prism Retrieval here. I do want that armor... Cost reduction on shark if I can connect. Take a name tome here. Okay, where do we go from here? Hmm. Ah, uh, the steel shop can give us upgrades on cold kill, yeah? Maybe a second multi strike. Quick as well. Shark wants a plus 25. Um, guess the magic shop is better here. Although I could visit the trinket shop and maybe high roll into good artifacts. Help us with scaling. Maybe look for Cuttlebeard. The magic shop, what does it give us? Minus ones, plus tens, no. Remove, consume, double stack, hold over. Those cards are not great. I don't think we get to good value from the magic shop. Let's go steel shop here. Okay, we do see an incant armor too. Do we want that on our cold kill? Yeah. Not sure I want it. Titan sentry on large stone. How do I feel about that? I go to 200 gold. I can still reroll. What do I have in the temple? Plus 30. Uh, I think we do the infusion now. Yes, I think I do the infusion now. That's a lot of survivability. 
Um, how does the space issue? So, right now I have six space on the floor. Minus two for cold kill. Yeah, I have four. Can still play shark there for relentless. And I can still have space for morsels. So I can take this large stone then. Spin. An endless and a quick. How about endless on that unit? No, I'd rather see another multi strike or a quick. The removals here. Hmm. It's diligent. So let's save the four gun powers. Let's cut the last two train stewards then. I think those are the better cuts here. Slam one, slam two. Okay. Could remove something extra here. But I think I need to be diligent with my spells. No pun intended. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Exactly 20 spells. Okay, let's move on from there. Decent enough magic. I mean, steel shop. We get Titan Sentry upgrade. Mark of Invasion is doable here. We have Shark. It might be important to have Endless Shark here. I think that's a critical component to the victory here. Let's play... I do lose all of this damage shield though. So I guess I play top floor with Penumbra. Yes, uh, Shark, Warden. I have Flash Freeze here to that bottom floor. Organ Power Middle. Okay. Collector though. Okay, I miss out on the collector in middle. Uh, sad, but true. Maybe I should have played bottom floor here. Now I don't get to eat morsels. That's a problem. Okay. I need to save the HP here. Let's play 7... <laughs> That's an Antombra Morsel hitting for freaking 35. Packed Morsels. Oh, that's a good Morsel. I can't eat it though. Yeah, I wanted to save the damage shield. This was the reason why we played top floor. Hmm... Let's silence here. Let's not give that guy extra damage. Okay, taking 10. Okay, that's fine. Is Shark dead? Yeah, Shark's dead. Good thing about this, I can play him bottom floor now. Okay. Good. Shark goes bottom now and carries us. Shark go bottom floor. I get to eat miner. Flash freeze the boss. Another miner. You play immortal trade in front. Okay. This should be good. Was it necessary to play shark top floor? Maybe. Did we get value out of it? A big maybe. Okay, but we win here. I need some spell chains from the temples. Drop shark. Do want something. Yeah, I take excavator here. Organ power. Yes, it discards the other one. 
Okay, good. Fine with not getting that extra morsel. Um, do I need feast? Maybe? Eat morsels for sure. Where am I getting my defense? It's immortal trade. I think I'll pick up feast here. Ice storm. I think I pick up ice storm here. That could be my way out. Okay, magic shop. No. It's temple here. Yeah, uh, it's trinket shop. What do we get? Mind jacks. Sigiled seaweed. Ugh, these are not good. We spin. Vapor funnel is good. Plays well with frostbite. Yes, take that. Is that good enough of a payout? Not sure. This temple is also very bad. Ugh. Where are my stuff? Two rings left. Oh my god. Self-infused shark, I guess. I think that's the play. I mean, this steel shop, if I miss, it's dead. Could do something here. Yep. I think it's definitely self-infused shark. Okay, let's move on. Maybe we see better upgrades here. Maybe a plus 30 tenant piercing. I could do that as well. I'm already considering a shark, a double shark here. Let's rubble morsel here into penumbra. We don't get to eat there. Let's play shark bottom floor with ember cash open. Immortal trade. I am not sure here. For gunpower the boss. Okay. We can land the flash pieces on the boss. I think we should feel great about that. Let's connect all of the spells that we can. Every time we draw the flash freeze, we probably want to play that on the boss. I do want to connect this Titan's Gratitude good enough. And this Forgan Power. We're relying entirely on Frostbite here to carry us through. Okay, kill this. Pack more cells. Wait, unfortunately, our cold killer does not get to eat those. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Let's play for gunpower middle. Okay, shark is doing okay, but not awesome. More morsels here is what I'm looking for. Okay, here's the flash piece. Lay that out on the boss. Um, I might not clear this guy. So let's prevent him from scaling. Whew. How do I deal with that guy? Yeah, I definitely don't kill him. Let's save HP here. Let's flash freeze this guy. Um, let's do some four gun powers here. Take another 10. Yep. Okay, it's ferals here. 87. No oh, concerning. Give me a damaging morsel. No. Give me someone with damage. No. Huh. Game does not want it. Play bottom shark. Immortal trade. Forgan power. We take another six. 
Oh, we have... Ooh. Forgot we have Vapor Funnel. Okay, that guy's dead, basically. Um, excavated embers here. Shade splitter. We eat it. Let's scale. No, that's not good enough. That's non-existent damage. Do this. Okay, connect as many frostbite to this boss as possible. I think that's the way out here. Don't know how we're getting the victory here. Shark first. Titan's Gratitude. Okay, Shark's gonna chomp block for us. Well, we win anyways, but Shark here is a big contributor to victory. Probably one, two of him. That's the best I can do. I mean, Wretch, Spike of the Stygian, Forever Consumed. Maybe Spike of the Stygian. Maybe I could remove Consume that or whatnot. Could eat a lot of more cells. Don't think that's good. Let's take Spike of the Stygian. It might be our salvation. You want ember no i think it's really just draw power here probably gonna be using that fire health to save ourselves a lot of damage temple give me a spell chain please no not interested in the spell chain game ah those are bad shops okay let's check the caverns now Okay, that's Shark Overstack. Hmm. How about Blood for Blood? The good thing about Blood for Blood here is that we have Vapor Funnel. We have Frostbite. So, we get to heal back stuff. Do I really want the plus 25 on that shark? It's already it already has a large stone. I think it's blood for blood here. This blood for blood may be our salvation. Whew. Yeah, that may be our salvation. The dupe here for sure is the shark. Let's self-infuse him. Right now. He's gonna be our main carry here. 85 health. We remove what here? How many spells do we have? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Um, 23 spells. I have two cuts that I can play. I think I cut Shade Splitters. Don't think I'm really relying on the Shade Splitters here. Hmm. How about Monstrous Penumbra? He only hits for once though. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try to figure out. What if we take Monstrous Penumbra? Um, how much space do we have? So, he now becomes one space. I have six space on the floor. I have five. Can still fit all of them. If I go Architect 3, I have one extra space. I have seven. Seven space on floor. No, I have eight space on floor. Yeah, because he adds one. Is that correct? 
six space. Six space because of hammer. Six space. Plus one, seven. So, if I'm planning to dupe shark, which I think I will, the play is to fit two of them on floor. I guess I kill out architect so I can fit double shark or relentless. Frostbite to victory. I think that's better. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, cuts here. I think I just got shade splitters. I want to draw as much as possible into flash freeze. Cut two shade splitters here. No, these are not the takes. Here, we move on. Ooh, blood for blood. Spells. I don't really have damaging spells here. Okay. Probably a double shark play, really. Um, hmm. I can pull out shark, right? Yes, that's good. Free shark. Like that. Um, Penumbra. Kalia. Let's connect the flash freeze first. And then we get our shark. Ooh. Beefy shark. Play shark middle floor here. I'll burn the card. Okay, good. We secure collector through that. Good. Maybe I should have played cold kill you in front here. That's another consideration to make. Let's... Let's flat fork and power this floor out. Okay, shark, carry me, please. I beg of you. Morsels. Yeah, I think I really should have played Cold Kelia in front here. She could be getting all of these morsels. In case I have to reset this, I will reposition her. Hmm. Organ power here. Okay. Top floor is concerning. I need to play shark over there. I think I need to play shark middle. Let's play this here. Lifesteal here. Organ power. Okay, I think I'll take some hits or maybe none. Okay, no hits taken. Good. Um, shark is doing well. Middle floor. Flash freeze. Here. Morsels. Need to eat morsels here. Um, none of this works. Okay. We're clearing through this. Ah, that cold Kalia is a very sad cold Kalia. Um, do I play bottom floor for this? I think I play middle. He dies. That's good. I mean, that's not good that he dies, but I mean, I want to replay him is the main reason for that. Okay, that's good. We clear that floor. That's less scary for our... Top floor guys, we play shark bottom. Flash freeze the boss. For sure. Life steal on shark. Organ power. Organ power. Good. Ooh. Perils. Shark. Immortal trade. Frozen. Organ power twice. I think we get out of this. One more shark play. We get perils, shade splitters, feast, ice storm, titan's gratitude. 
Look at that cold Kalia, guys. It's 37 by 2. Abysmal. Shark is the beast here. Kaven. You know what? I am gonna pick up Kaven because I can have the units take more frostbite. Glacial Seal. Hello, Glacial Seal. Are you coming in to save my run? How about Drain? Drain for Relentless. Hmm. I don't think I need it. I am feeding my cold kill. I have Immortal Trade. I'm not sure that is important. Maybe the Glacial Seal is much more. Although it's hard to keep that alive on floor. I'll take Drain here. It's not a cold kill, yeah. Okay, we go left. Minus two. Oh dear, these cards are so bad. Intrinsic. I mean, I guess you intrinsic perils or something. Temple, what do you have? Sorry, I just went from the temple. Trinket shop, give me something. Lost luggage, chain of gems. Tempered talisman, oh dear. Uh, I mean, chain of gems could be good, but it's just too damage shield. I don't know how helpful that is. Well, I guess it allows me to feed morsels. Maybe I pick that up. Double stack. How about double stack drain? Double stack immortal trade? I mean, if I play shark top floor for relentless and I give him a boatload of immortal trades, I guess he can survive and just keep on applying frostbite. Yeah, that's something. I can't do double stack on perils. That's pretty bad. Did not even see a spell chain on this run. I guess I don't want to drain the divinity down to zero. Yeah, I'll do this. This might be the way out. I'll consume the ice storm. <laughs> it's pretty sad ice storm. This minus one. I need it on a card like immortal trade spin holdover we do see the holdover drain here hmm how about cave in what if we keep dropping the floor every single turn then they keep Eating frostbite? I mean, maybe. Okay, let's pick up Chain of Gems first and then reroll the shop. It's bad. <laughs> Totem fragment, hammered chest plates, rationing scales. What, what do you mean? Where's my cuttle beard game? Huh. <sighs> okay. So I'm not buying anything from the trinket shop, correct? Maybe the hammer chest plates, but no. I could take the minus two on cave in and do what I am I was telling you about. Huh. That is something. If they keep dropping down and I get two sharks, they're gonna stack enough frostbite that whenever they do get to top to the pyre, they get dazed and then killed via frostbite and then I heal with blood for blood. S that's something. 
That's not insignificant. That's a lot of damage. Especially if I consider the double sharps play. So... Cold kill here just applies 6 frostbite. That's it. Am I crazy? Do I... Do I... Am I really gonna do that? I just do my shark. I just took hold over and cave in, guys. What am I doing? I just got a minus two on cave in. Oh dear. What's this run? Crack. The ember cash ASAP? Or get my perils? I think I pick up my perils earlier. That's good. Okay, I can still purge some stuff. And consume some stuff. No consume? Sorry. I think I can burn stuff. I think I'll minus one. A shade splitter? No, I'll do it on drain. I can play that last. Can cut two cards here, but let's count our spells. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I can cut here. I'll cut. Um, I will cut Shade Splitters. Do I cut Shade Splitters? No, I'll cut 4 Gun Powers. 2 of them. And this is the run. Oof. It's weird, but I can't see it getting to the victory point. So, again, the plan is to drop the units with cave -in so that they take more frostbite damage. Um, We use cold kill to apply more frostbite. We eventually kill Penumbra. For Relentless, we play double shark. Might even play middle floor for that. Um, for Relentless, you can also slap in a mortal trade on the shark so it keeps stays alive and keeps applying frostbite. Same with the other mortal trade. We buff on top floor. We use perils to allow us to not bother with ember drain here. We hopefully draw into one shark for free. And then the rest is just a Hail Mary. Let's go. Let's see if we can win. Ah. Double sharks. Okay, turn one. Crap. The Ember Cash. Get me Shade Splitter in. Let's put Cold Kalia in front here. So that she gets to eat the morsels that we're throwing out. Let's prism retrieval here one of the sharks. Okay, that shark with immortal trade can win for us. Okay, here's the frostbites. Here are the frostbites. Second burn, what is it? Before we burn, let's drop second Titan Sentry middle. Slight problem with that drain play. I'll burn this drain. I can play my perils and get rid of the shards. Okay, here's the weird cave in. Let's play shark here. Let's burn... I want to play the cave in here. Let's burn the feast. Okay, good. Let's perils. I'll immortal trade later. We put immortal trade in front here. Keep the Kaylee alive. Flash freeze the boss. And then... I think we drop everybody. Yep. I think that's the play. 
And then the shark dies. I have another. And then I do it again. Unnamed tome. Good. Perils. I drop shark here. I should avoid get giving damage shield to the shark here. So I cave this, cave in this down again. They all get hit. I get shade splitters on top. Organ power here. I don't burn the ice storm. We save it for one of diligence burns. Okay. I don't know how it's gonna work if I drop the middle floor to a floor with full units. Something I have not done yet. Okay. Let's shade splitter more. Burn this. Let's perils. Spike you. What happens here? Oh, one gets left behind. That's fine. Whew, amazing. You're not gonna get to top floor. I won't allow it. I burn the immortal trade here. I can't risk burning the other things. Shade splitters go in. Okay, drop shark. Cave in everyone down. Wait. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Weird, but it works. Good. Amazing. Burn. Excavated ember. Shark drops. Middle. I cave in. Middle. Leave one alive. That's fine. We perils here. Burn the shard. Let's um let's excavate it here. I mean that's you you know what I mean. Amazing. We did <laughs> It's weird guys, but it's working. Don't know don't even know what to say. Hello team. Everyone's on bottom floor now. Do that. Do this. Speed shade splitter. More. Organ power. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of frostbite. I guess I could have picked up the horror frost effigy here and could, could have worked. So, shark. Let's immortal trade here. I guess I burn cave in now. Yeah, I don't need cave in anymore. We immortal trade here. Ah, oh, shark. Amazing. He lives. Awesome run. That's how much frostbite? 200? 300? He's alive because of immortal trade. There you go. Shark. The beast. Love this run, guys. I love it. We big brained into this. Ooh, one more. This is gonna be a bit easier because we don't have to manage the burning of cards. Okay. I think I can. No, I play top floor here still. Definitely. I can spike of the stage and the divinity. Penumbra in the back. Hold Kalia in front. I perils. I click cave in in the middle. I spike into drain. Good. Okay, divinity is disabled on top floor. Now we pick up the second shark. But before that, we get ember. Um, we want to play this card. I play shark first. Bottom floor. I prism retrieval the other guy. He's now free. Does deal a li little less damage, but that's fine. 
Um, I put... Yeah, I do it this way. And then I drop everyone. That guy chills. I put frostbite on him. Ah, can you see those numbers, guys? Ah, that's a lot of frostbite. Then I keep dropping units down, I believe. The play here. Mortal trade here. Keep it alive. Let's cave in the units. Whatever's left, we have to deal with it. Packed morsels. Drop them top floor. We can get to eat them. The divinity is still disabled. I will unname Tome this because it has harvest. And I don't want to deal with the harvest right now. Let's Ice Storm Middle. And Titan's Gratitude. Oh, I love seeing that red. And we just continue doing it again and again. Okay. Play Shark. Drop them. Boom. Amazing. Titan's Gratitude, this guy, for gun power. Good. And we always have one shark working here. It's the best part of it. So, sentry. We drop both of them. Whatever's left, we clear out. Immortal trade on you. Keep you alive. Perils on top floor, we blast middle. Love this run. It was weird, but we made it work. Titan Sentry. Don't underestimate this big boy right here. He is a beast. Even everyone. Oh, that guy's left. You have to, I guess, deal with him. Ah. Oh, they killed all of my sharks. Amazing. This guy's gonna die to the pyre. So, shark one. How many units is this? Five. They all fit downstairs. No fear. Let's drop the second shark. This one. Kiss this one. Get this morsel in. Let's play cave in. Drop everyone. Organ power. I think chains dies to the pyre. It doesn't swing. Ooh, she swings once. That's fine. We have blood for blood. I prepared for that. Perils. Immortal trade on shark. Curse out. Shade splitters. Drop out. The ember cash. We flash fees. Whatever this is, drop units here. Flash freeze you. They're all dead. They can't stop taking frostbite. Amazing. Okay, I don't have a relentless floor basically. Um, shark. Drop. Oop. I think I can manage that floor. Okay. Oh dear. Can we survive though? Um. Hear that floor? Um. I'm scared. Flash freeze here hmm how do I secure the victory here I need shark do I cave in this that cave in this down so that I apply frostbite to here 
Maybe I slap in a drain. Okay, I put them downstairs. I drop in shark. Drain. Oh dear. Relentless is a problem. Hmm. I know how to fix this. I think Penumbra carries this to the carries this to victory. He takes my immortal traits. Yeah, he slaps for 40. Yes, I can fix this. Okay, let's do that again. I love seeing it. Let's do that again. Okay, Ember Cash. Um, Shade Splitter. Yeah, it's Penumbra's time. Cold Kalia stays at the back. I feed Penumbra HP so that he can survive the hits from Relentless. Cold Kalia, you go here. Perils. Um, Drain. Cave in. Drain again. Okay. Then we do the shark business. Um, play shark one. It's perils first here. Shark one drops. I want to frost by something. Hmm. Frostbite you. Peace. Prism retrieval the other one. Put it in the back. Drop everyone. Organ power. Okay. We need to solve relentless here. Hmm. And the way I do that is through immortal trade on you. I don't put them on the sharks now. Haven. Okay. Manage that. Lore. We feed morsels while we can to Penumbra. Let's silence that floor because that has harvest. Let's connect all of the damage we can to the divinity. Okay. Good. Clearing this floor. Maybe could have taken Trample Penumbra then for this. Okay, let's peril see you. Shark drops. Cave in here. More cells need to get eaten. Um, connect damage to the divinity when we can. Okay, good. Yeah, we stack immortal trade for relentless here. That's the big plan. Um, drop this units out. Perils on top. Immortal trade. Yes, I think this will win Relentless now. Good. Mm hmm. Don't have a morsel. So, I guess I do this. Drop. Play. Perils here. I feast. Drain. Yeah, that frostbite is amazing. So, more frostbite then? Excavated Ember. I want Shade Splitters in. Second Shark. We drop this floor out. Perils. Weight of Contrition. Organ Power. That boss is dead. Okay, good. Mortal trade on our penumbra. 
continue feeding morsels so that he has enough HP to survive relentless. Drop you. Cross slash freeze you because you're a mini boss. Yeah, I think this wins relentless now. I misplayed the immortal trade there. Shark again. Drop the unit. Perils in front. Load up the boss. Do we see the big red X now? No. Why not? Is this 10 life steal not enough? Okay. That improves that. Um more concerning. Okay, how do I make this work? I guess I dropped shark in. Cave in this floor? No, it's not enough. How about the fire though? Hmm, let's slow this down. I'm taking 19 from the boss each swing. Okay. Fire kill, maybe? No. Not enough? Ah, uh, was- Is there a way to navigate this to victory? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. How do I win this? Hmm. Penumbra is not enough. The perils is also not enough to scale. I guess it needs not to be the sweep floor. I, I need to play middle. that the play here i need to play middle floor so that i only take 10 10 in front he has to go through the front unit faster
Hmm. How do I handle this? There is a way to get into this. Hmm. Maybe I keep them... Hmm... How do I make this work? Do I assemble middle floor? On Relentless? Maybe. I get the damage shield on Penumbra. Then Cold Kalia. Is it more... I think it's better to play Perils on the Cold Kalia because it's double the value. But the Immortal Trade I put into Penumbra. Think that's the case. This is wings twice. I play cave in. I play drain. Okay, let's try to do that instead. I play. Can we better optimize the place though? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I play middle. The extra HP on the sharks should help. Yes. And then I put the perils on cold Kelia because she swings twice and the immortal trade on penumbra because he swings once um yes mm. i guess that's the play Yes. I have damage shield. So I play this guy in the back. And then I cave in here. Feast. Flash Freeze, Prism Retrieval, Shark in front. Okay. Okay, what's next? Immortal Trade here. I need a morsel. There you go. I play shark here. I drop this guy's perils on cold Kelia. Ice storm. Titan's Gratitude. Let's connect as many damage as we can on the Divinity. Okay. Okay, that floor clears. That's good. But I want to avoid damage on my Penumbra. 
I want to save the damage shield as much as I can. Um, more soul first in front. Um, shade splitter in front. Um, I drop shark here. I cave in. I unnamed tome. I six. Six, six. So, Titan's Gratitude Middle. Okay, good. Yeah, I cleared the waves. The waves is not the problem. 11 lifesteal. Need to save as many of that as possible. Let's drop this units down. Excavated. Excavated. Let's flash freeze the boss. Shade splitter. A jeweler. I get to eat that. Good. Perils in the back. 4,000 health on the divinity. Hmm. Okay. It's... I don't have a morsel here. Hmm. Maybe I don't combine these floors. Because that's a harvest wave. I think I need still need to combine them. Drop them. That guy remains. Titan's Gratitude Drain. Okay. Excavated Ember. Immortal Trade. Feast. Shark into Drop. Yeah, this is a good setup. Let's drop. And Immortal Perils. Organ Power. The Divinity. Okay. Two... Two... Turns remaining. Five damage shield, twelve life steal. I probably need to spread things out here for the few immortal trades coming up. Okay. Let's play seven three three. Alright, let's play Shade Splitter first. Let's feed. Okay, good. Let's Titan Sentry here. Let's drop. They're all dead. Flash Feast the boss. For gun power. Okay. 11, 5 damage shield. Okay, how should I assemble this floor then? Maybe I drop ourselves to bottom floor. That's something. Um... Hmm. 
I play Titan Sentry on top floor, drop ourselves down. That way, Cold Kelia preserves the 5 damage shield. Um, wait. I should put the morsels in first. Uh, drop. Clear. Clear the curses. I could put another shark in again. Um... Let's drain here. Titan's gratitude up top. Okay. Okay, that looks a lot better, guys. Maybe if I... Hmm. Perils. Yeah, I think this is a win. I just go bottom floor. Then drop the shark. That's 26. This is 21. Drop our units down. There you go. Amazing. And then I put life steal on shark 1, shark 2. Organ power you. Okay, we get the victory, guys. It had a little finicky run and set up for the divinity, but we managed to win with a very weak cold Kalia and double shark here. Ooh. Yeah. Um, the reason we had to re-optimize this was we had to use the bodies of the Titan sentries in order. So that the cold Kalia yeah, that's only swinging for a hundred can whittle down the boss slowly. Let's watch this in slow motion, guys. I am gonna bask in the glory of this run. Win. There you go. Okay. Maybe a little bit faster, though. Okay. Shark, shark, there. Shark, shark, penumbra. Shark, shark, penumbra, cold kill ya. Yeah, slowly. Should have put the immortal trade in front, actually. And there you go. Good job, guys. Good job. A tight 17th win. Sorry, I think that was the 18th win, right? I think so. Yes. Just two more and we're out of Penumbra and into Rector. Amazing. 55k. Decent score. And we broke a new personal record. Units moved between floors. 57. Thanks to Kaven. Whew. So, yeah. This run was hard to navigate. Um, We basically, I, I think for the blood for blood, maybe it, it was good and a good idea. But I guess I was hoping... Maybe I should have taken the plus 25 and my Titan Sentries would have been a little beefier. But assembling that kill floor on the Divinity was a new learning for me. And thinking about how to best utilize Immortal Trades, um, units that hit lesser benefit more for Immortal Trade for Relentless Place because they consume the lifesteal a lot slower. Um, perils of production here, it did matter. I do believe it did matter. Th that hit, extra hit on Cold Kalia allowed us to double scale from this 3 rage. Um, no spell chain in this run. Maybe that would have been a lot better. We have better scaling with perils of production, but we did not find any. 
uh, basically it all went down to double titan sentry. If we had um, cuttle beard, this would have been a lot better because cold Kalia and titan sentry all have frostbite. Uh, we did get value from prism retrieval, spike of the stygian, the drain. Maybe I could have played into drain a lot more, but I think the dropping of the floors was very important in clearing the waves. Top floor did not have enough damage to clear waves, I do believe. So I think that's good. Maybe I could have played the double stack into drain and that would have played a lot better. Maybe drain the divinity a lot longer. That's something to consider here. But aside from that, we had very bad temples um no plus 30s no spell chains for key cards but we did manage to eke out the victory so again Kaven, you sometimes totally ignore this card but in some critical runs like frostbite having them not go into the floor and take extra frostbite damage is amazing um now considering the frost for frost effigy Maybe if I if I thought about this a lot earlier, uh, since each floor had so much frostbite, I could have dealt probably around 500 to 1,000 damage each run from one tick of frostbite to the divinity. That's something that I think works. So yeah, that's it for this run. We are almost there in terms of ending in Penumbra. So we've been cruising. Uh, and learning at the same time so yeah that's everything i have to talk about leave a like or a dislike guys if you enjoyed this insane frostbite titan sentry video and as always guys remember cave in the day thank you very much for watching